Welcome to Hub City TV, a, stu a USM Student News Magazine production. We're your source to what's happening around the Pine Belt. I'm your host, Holly Kuros. In this week's show, we tell you how to remain safe this holiday season, investigate college drinking, and take you to a local dairy farm. But first, Jones County Jail teams up with JCJC agricultural students to help mentor inmates. Hub City TV's Allie Holston has a story. Sheriff, I believe my job is more than just locking people up and taking people to jail. Like the Jones Junior College motto, inspiring greatness is a phrase that Sheriff Alex Hodge not only believes, but lives by. I think if we can do more of the programs like this through education and public awareness, uh, teaching and, and changing mindsets, changing hearts of people. That's why when asked about the garden full of fresh vegetables that's being grown near the jail in Ellisville, he gives all the credit to the inmates and the agricultural students. Uh, we just come out here and kind of help them uh, uh, just keep things going, design it, and uh, to make the facilities better for everybody around right here. It's just a good opportunity to help. Students and inmates work voluntarily year-round to keep the crops up. Sheriff Hodge hopes that the garden is something that will continue not only for learning purposes, but for personal growth. So I want to realize that they're in control of their destiny and they can change their own life. And if we can be a part of that, see them productive members, taxpaying citizens of Jones County. That's what we do. Inmates who volunteer, like Tanya Taylor and Georgia Harris, say that they enjoy working with the students and that their hard work pays off when they get to taste what they've grown. We uh, plant cabbage and collards and mustard and cauliflower. That's like our, our little baby here. <laughs> Reporting for Hub City TV News, I'm Allie Holston.